Now, take a close look at this piece. One side is flat right up to the edge. The other side is slightly rounded at the edges. Put the rounded side facing forward or out and the flat side facing against the plastic part. Now let's check this for binding. And that's really tight. And that's tight. And that's tight. So let's start with the arms. It's, it's got a lot of weight here, so it may be acting like it's smooth when it's still tight. So, um, you know, play with the, the kingpin itself through the plastic here. Now, even with a whole lot of reaming, I could not fully get this center section cleaned out. And I think that, uh, that they didn't want it that way. I think they want it to be stiff in the center. Um, but uh, if you take care of the arm itself, uh, you got a nice smooth action. So I'm okay with it, I guess. I would have liked it to have been a little, uh, a little looser um, in the center as well. But uh, if they've, um, they've obviously got it set up so tight that there's just, uh, you know, you'd really have to take a power drill to it with an appropriate size bit, and that's not somewhere I want to go. So I'm just gonna leave it the way they've got it set up. Oh, I think I forgot to put on the uh, the ball studs on the uh, outer arms here. And they want those on top. And 
No washers underneath or anything. Nope. Now that's something that might be able to do an adjustment with is uh, raise or lower that ball stud for uh, bump steer. But um, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of uh, options as far as these cars go, as far as tuning. Let me see if I have any titanium for these. Wow, I just got lucky. Okay, the stock screws are 4.6 grams. Four titanium screws I have are 2.6 grams so I'm losing two grams just like that it's not a huge deal but it keeps adding up may find out later that this is a place where having weight is a good thing and I may swap them back out instead of putting brass on or something like that. Okay, and we got one small screw that goes right here. It looks like it just anchors it for now. Now, in the directions, they say we got a couple of different size of bell cranks. Um, 
for the front and rear steering and uh, camber link, but that's not true. Uh, they're all the same size. So, uh, it's more like uh, adjustable what, uh, which ones are we going to use. Now, here's something that is important, and I talk about this in every single kit that I build that has, um, uh, that has linkages. Um, links have a marker on them and they should all point in one direction and you should set them up to always point the same way on all of your kits. Okay, here's my little lecture on turnbuckles. Turnbuckles have a little mark and you always want that to fit, to point in one direction and that is goes for all of them so they should all point the same way like so not like this like this or like this now I always have mine pointing left that's just the way I do it the reason I do it that way or any one direction is that that way you always know when you turn them a particular direction that they're either going to tighten or loosen. Uh, that way you're not guessing each time. Um, so it it's a consistency thing and you should do that and that way all your cars are the same. It makes your life a lot easier. So um, remember that and uh, do it and you'll be a lot happier. I'm just kind of seeing how tough these are and uh, not too bad. Now, one thing I usually do is I use chapstick on them. Um, a lot of people do that. And what I use is Blistex. Um, it's uh, a lip balm. Um, it's like a wax, and uh, it makes the cutting the threads into these things go a lot easier. <clears throat> Let's see what size these are. Looks like they are a 3.5 millimeter.
So you kind of want to center these out so that when you start turning them, you get an equal change. No, that is one thing that might be worth upgrading is the ball sockets. These are all team associated or aftermarket for team associated, like these blue ones are RPMs. These might be really good to put on the front end where strength is needed. These are also team associated, but those are too big. Well, I think I'll go stock for now. Okay, sorry about that. Friend of mine uh, just had to hit me rapid fire with like five texts. And even when I told them I'm shooting videos, they just had to give me an apology text. <laughs> uh, she's a sweetheart, but I would think she would catch the clue to not reply again.
住啊Okay, this thing just popped out a second ago. If these things don't stay in place, they are going to be a pain. Now, here's something that I've had for a long time and I never thought I'd use again. Um, these came with an old associated kit. I have these little foam grommets and they keep dust out of your ball studs and that's just the kind of thing that this kid can use If these things pop off every two seconds, it's really not going to help or matter. Oh, that's the steering knuckle. I got that in the wrong place anyway. See, these things just pop off at the drop of a hat. See, I can't adjust them without them popping free. They stink. Okay, I think it's time to try some of these. I've only got enough of the front end. I don't have enough of the back. I'm going to have to come up with a solution or get find more. Let's see if they will work with these ball studs. They're the right size. Okay, you just need to cut them down to size. make one of them and see how it works. Hopefully they're not shallow. Because if they pop off, the stock ones, if they pop off that easy, where I can't even adjust the turnbuckle without them popping off. These things are gonna pop off the minute you bump into a wall or some other car, and then you're really in trouble. Because it'll be unraceable. All 
so I'm going to have to watch the inside of the cup here to make sure this isn't pushing through. is messed up. Why didn't they send us the right size? I might actually have to trim these a little bit uh, with a cutting wheel because they are not quite right. Can't get the right camber without them uh, starting to come through the ball stud here and touch each other. It's hard for me to explain without like having really close up video, but what's going on is they gave us all the same size. Maybe there's a different size in the rear kit. Yeah, they gave us, uh, these two are the front, four are the front, two in the rear, and they're all the same length. That doesn't make sense. I gotta make some measurements and uh, maybe order some other hardware overnight.